In Ecuador, outside the Mexican embassy, some 30 police and military personnel surround the area. This after President Daniel Novoa declared Mexican ambassador Raquel Cerur Smeke a persona non grata. Our Telesur correspondent Elena Rodriguez Janes provides more information about. This is what the Mexican embassy in Ecuador looks like. After the decision of the government of Daniel Novoa to declare the ambassador, Mrs. Raquel Sara Smeek, persona non grata. In a statement the Ecuadorian foreign ministry announced that the decision was taken after the statements of the Mexican president Andres Manuel López Obrador, in which he described the situation that occurred after the assassination registered last August 13 in this South American country, when the elections were about to be held and in the middle of the campaign the then-candidate Fernando Villavicencio was assassinated. I want to show you the police contingent that at this hour is surrounding the perimeter of the embassy located in the United Nations Avenue December 16. We counted around 30 members of the national police and a similar number of military personnel. We could even see a few minutes ago a tankette that in the military jargon is known as a tactical vehicle. We see at this time the exit of a diplomatic vehicle and we must also remember that inside this diplomatic legation there is also an asylum seeker, a refugee, the former vice president of Ecuador, Jorge Glass, who has denounced that his rights have not been respected and that in this country the due process has not been respected either. This is the situation reported from the Mexican embassy in Ecuador.